Cullen works a screen beautifully and hit the field goal. Terrific help on top by Southwell. Southwell is a player that hasn't played all that much, and he certainly helped him here. Cullen's going to pull the trigger on that through ball. That time, Pullen did not put the ball on the floor at all. He came off the screen. Great basketball tradition in history, but I couldn't imagine anything would be that unbound. And the Jayhawks better watch out. Pullen just drained. He sees second. the floor extremely well. Pump fake. Now firing and drew the foul. No. Just what you would have taught him. Hey. Hey, I'm going to stand and clap on that move. Uno. Dos coming up. We're going to have dos. Watch this. This will go uno, dos, tres. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know cuatro. Well, I, I got uno, dos, tres there. <laughs> Well, you heard Holly report that if you're going to make a foul, get all of it. And they did. <laughs> well, you know, like I mentioned, I always appreciate the officials looking at something a second time if there's any question at all. I think that's a mark of a good crew. Well, each of the Morris is now with two fouls, Holly, so they're in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Floater on the money. All oh, injured. He collided with a uh, stats monitor over here, a computer. And then he got up and he apologized. And then, he he you know, sorry. he's going to get two points out of his hustle. Now, this is the pulling plan that I think we ex expected to see all year long. And uh, this kid playing this way. That's exactly what they covered. Enriquez Roberts comes out high and pulling on the drive on the left hand. Lob pass. They have got to track Jacob Pullen. He is carrying the scoring load here for K-State. Up over the top, the three. On the money, he's on fire. Columbus against an angry bunch of Buckeyes. 23 points for Jacob Pullen. Well, there isn't anything when you're sitting on the bench in, in any kind of a game, Brent, and you've got kids that react to what the offense is doing. Before he came back for the second half. Well, he gathered his teammates in the tunnel, and before they took the floor, he said, guys, don't let one play turn into two bad plays here. You know they'll go on a run. We have to do this. When they reverse the ball, they get good cutters coming across the lane, just like they had there. Well, and nice touch on that jumper. Seven on the shot. Pulling for 30. Got it. A 30 point night for Jacob Pullen. Russell on the floor. He hasn't played much tonight, but Frank's got him out there in crunch time. Five now on the shot. Pullen going to go. Ball fake, fire. Three. 33. What to shoot after the technical. And looking for his all-time high. He has matched his career high. That results in two shots and the ball. And there is his career mark. 35 points for Jacob Pullen. See, that's... Nine of 17 from the floor. You know, Brent, in, in all but one of his threes, it's been a very good shot, too. And the one he came down, remember, he came down real right. quick and shot it at the beginning so of the, the other possession. part of this team that's really impressed me uh, has been uh, Enrique Roberts and Kelly. And they started out, Samuel's got a bucket. And we look at this, you know, Kansas has never been in the game. Two home games to recoup. You know, get their egos back together. Because... Kansas State has taken down number one.
Let's go quickly down to Holly with Jacob Cullen. Jacob, how are you able to stay under control and play within yourself in the first half of this ball game? It was tough. You know, I just, I really just wanted to be really efficient and just take good shots. And coach just told me not to worry about my offense, but to keep playing basketball. And, you know, some shots fell and I just got into a rhythm. Kansas has come back from big leads in this building and they pulled within five right after halftime. But how did you prevent them from closing the door? We just wanted to stay the course. You know, at the, at the locker room, that's all we talked about was we knew they was going to make a run. We just wanted to stay the course. And my teammates did a great job of defending and rebounding. And then we happened to make shots like we didn't do last time we played. How do you describe this turnaround? You had a beat down against you guys in Lawrence two weeks ago. How did you turn it around like this? Just hard work. You know, my teammates never gave up hope. You know, a lot of people doubt us. A lot of people write us off. And we just come in the gym every day with the same attitude that we got to get better. And, you know, all the credit go to my teammates and my coaching staff because we just prepare well for this game. How can you build on this win now and finish out this season strong? We just got to continue to work hard. We can't let this affect us like it did last year when we beat Texas. We got to get back in the gym the next day and continue to work hard. Thank you. No 